This video will be a full tour and documentation of this 2020 Ford F-250 Super Duty XL Regular Cab. This Super Duty Regular Cab is painted in iconic silver. Got some storage areas. It does have manual windows and manual locks. The interior is finished in the medium earth gray color scheme, and as you can see, the XL trim has durable and easy to clean vinyl seats and rubber floors, though cloth seats and carpeted floors are also available. All the seats are manually adjusted. And now that we're behind the wheel, let's go ahead and start up that 6.7 power stroke. The Ford F-Series pickup dates back to 1948. The F-Series has been not only the best-selling pickup truck, but also the best-selling vehicle in the U.S. for four decades now. From the half-ton F-150 to the commercial F-750 Super Duty, the lineup is incredibly diverse. So for anyone who's interested in a Ford truck, chances are there's an F-Series that can suit their needs. For 1999, Ford rebranded the F-250 and higher as the F-Series Super Duty, and gave them distinct styling from their half-ton F-150 counterpart. Since then, the F-150 and F-Series Super Duty have been redesigned at separate times. As of 2021, Ford has just completely redesigned the F-150, while the F-250 through F-550 Super Duty were last redesigned for 2017. 2017 marked a 100% redesign for the F-Series Super Duty the F-250 through F-550 to be exact. The new trucks were given an all-aluminum body, now utilizing the cab from the 2015-2020 generation F-150. Combined with a stronger reinforced high-strength steel frame and many more upgraded components, this results in a lighter yet much stronger and more capable truck than the outgoing Super Duty. Now the medium-duty F-650 and F-750 Super Duty are actually unrelated to the aluminum-bodied 2017 generation Super Duty trucks, as they use a different chassis and still use the steel cab from the 1999 to 2016 Super Duties. So for the rest of the video, we'll be exclusively covering the aluminum-bodied post-2017 redesigned F-250 through F-550 Super Duty. For 2020, the Super Duty received a mid-cycle facelift. It did revise the styling a bit, but the biggest changes came with the lineup of engines. The base 6.2-liter V8 is unchanged, but replacing the old mid-level V10 gas engine is a brand new 7.3-liter V8 gasser. As for the 6.7-liter Power Stroke turbo diesel, that engine gets a bump in power as well as torque, and now makes a bonkers class-leading 1,050 pound-feet of torque. A new 10-speed transmission replaces the outgoing 6-speed in most models as well. Finally, for 2020, Ford introduced an F600 Super Duty, giving buyers the ability to get a truck that is even more capable than the F550 without having to go for the much larger, more semi-tractor-esque F650. For 2022, the Super Duty is set to get another refresh, which will give it even more updated tech and features. The 2020 model year aluminum-bodied F-Series Super Duty can be had as either a pickup or a commercial chassis cab. Pickup truck models can be had as an F-250, F-350, or F-450, 
while the F550 and F600 are chassis cab only. Available body styles are a regular cab as seen here, an extended cab known by Ford as the Super Cab, and a Crew Cab. Trim levels for the 2020 Super Duty pickup are as follows, XL, XLT, Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum, and the Range Topping Limited. The base XL trim is available in all three cab styles. The 3 quarter ton F250 Super Duty has three available engines for 2020. A 6.2 liter 385 horsepower gas V8, a 430 horsepower 7.3 liter gas V8, and the third generation 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel V8 with 475 horses and 1,050 pound-feet of torque. It comes of course with either rear wheel drive or four wheel drive, and most models now get a new 10 speed automatic transmission although the outgoing 6-speed can be had on some 6.2-liter gasser models. Competitors for the F250 Super Duty in 2020 include the Ram 2500 and the Chevrolet Silverado 2500, and in Ford's pickup truck lineup for 2020, the three-quarter ton F250 Super Duty is slotted between the half-ton F150 and the one-ton F350 Super Duty. The instrument cluster houses six analog gauges, including your tachometer and speedometer, along with your oil pressure gauge, fuel and temperature gauges, and your turbo boost gauge. And via the controls right here on the steering wheel, you can go through this digital display. Quite a bit more stuff in here, but that's a basic overview of how it works. It has a four spoke design, multifunctional steering wheel, bolstering grip extensions at 10 and 2. As for the controls, on this side you got the information display controls, and on this side you got your audio controls, along with your voice commands and hands free phone controls. The steering wheel is tilt and telescopic. The vehicle's parking brake is foot operated. Got your exterior light controls, air vent. Got your high beam, turn signal, and wiper stock. Grab handles on the A pillars. It does have a column gear shifter putting it in reverse does reveal a backup camera at your drive mode selector button so drive modes include normal tow haul eco and slippery Going down the center of the interior, got some storage up top, air vents on either side, got your hazard light button along with your traction control and your exhaust brake buttons. This is the radio head unit interface that you get with the base XL trim. This is not a touch screen, but it is a small color display and basically you control it via these buttons and the set of controls right here. We'll go over that in a bit. Diff lock, volume power knob, tuning knob, couple of power outlets, and some storage. Right here are all the controls for your single zone climate control. Below here you've got a USB port and another power outlet. And below that is some more storage. Of course it has bench seats. Uh, as you can see with the center seat, you can fold up the base to reveal storage. And then if no one's sitting here, you can fold this down as well. And you've got a little tray here, two cup holders, and center console with some storage.
and a little bit of storage behind the seats. Upper and lower glove boxes. The lower one is lockable. The passenger sun visor does have a vanity mirror. Manually dimming rear view mirror. And your overhead lighting. And we'll quickly take a look at this info display. And now you're on radio. AM and FM. Here, got your sound settings, and we got up, down, left, right, and OK. So, go through the screen like this. Select, select that by pressing OK, and it brings you to the next menu. As you can see. Bluetooth as well. And your vehicle settings. When you tune the radio, it has this old fashioned needle, tuning needle, like an old radio. Looks pretty cool. And now we'll go ahead and take a look at the engine bay, but not before rolling down the driver's window. This XL has the Super Duty's most basic rim option, which is this set of 17-inch 5-spoke Argent Painted Steelies. Powering this F-250 is the third generation of Ford's Power Stroke 6.7 liter turbo diesel V8 engine. It's a 32 valve pushrod power plant with high pressure common rail injection, and the new third generation version for 2020 produces 475 horsepower at 2800 RPM and a monstrous 1050 pound-feet of torque at just 1600 RPM. The engine is down-tuned in the commercial chassis cab trucks, so it makes quite a bit less power and torque than in these Super Duty pickups. The Super Duty in this video is a two-wheel drive model, and the power is sent to those rear wheels via the Torque Shift 10-speed automatic transmission with a manual mode. The two-wheel drive F250 uses an independent twin I-beam front suspension and a solid rear axle with leaf springs. Bringing the truck to a halt is a set of four-wheel ventilated disc brakes. When properly equipped, the F-250 can tow up to 22,800 pounds and haul a payload of up to 4,260 pounds. The fuel cap is located on the driver's side.
also got your diesel exhaust fluid filler. Dual exhausts. The regular cab F-Series Super Duty has an 8-foot bed that can fit up to 78.5 cubic feet of cargo. Anyhow, thanks for checking out this tour of this 2020 Ford F-250 Super Duty. And as always, stay on the lookout for more tours to come.